my channel, Trevor Golliga Drums, and thank you for dropping by. Uh, I'll get the, all the business out of the way first. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. You'll make this old drummer very happy if you do. If you have any topics you would like me to look at or, or discuss on future videos, please just leave a message below and I'll do my best to get those videos up and running for you. Also, um, I'm trying to get the uh, view hours up on my channel. So if you don't mind, um, just go for a bit of a wander through all my videos. I've got over 160 or so there. And just have a look at some of my videos so it can help me to get my my viewing hours up. That would be really, really appreciated. And I think we're only about 10 people off a 1,000 subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber, as I said earlier, please just uh, click that subscribe button. That would be really appreciated too. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get down to business here. Today I'm going to show you really the best way or uh, well let me say i shouldn't say the best way the way i actually uh change snare wires on snare drums and i have this beautiful lignum radio king uh, replica snare drum here lignum drums are a company in belgium and uh i just got this drum just not that long ago and it has a 16 strand snare wire on it which i believe the original radio kings had a 16 strand anyway the one i've got on here is what came with it and my preferred snare wires in in the whole universe is this company uh this company is a drum company in japan they're called canopus and uh i bought myself a set of uh 16 strand Canopus wires, so I'm just going to drop them onto here and replace these ones. So uh, I'm going to, I thought, well, while I'm doing that, I might as well make a video and show the people that may not know how to change snare wires, how to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is take off the old ones. So on this particular drum, I've got to undo where the strings go through. And it's got tuning keys there, so I use a tuning key. Take it off one end, take it off the other end. And it's that easy. Next, we're going to bring the new snare wire over. Now, what I should say, make sure you put it up the right way. Um, I've seen people put them on upside down. In this case here, it's really clear to see. Uh, Canopus has its brand name on the top and uh, you can see that's definitely the the bottom and this is the top. Another way to look at it, I don't know if you can actually see it, but on the side here it raises up a little bit there. So you don't want to do that, otherwise you're going to find these snare wires are going to sit a little bit off or you're going to bend it like that when you tighten it down and it's going to hold the snares not flush with the drum. So that's the way it goes on this drum. Now, snare wires come with lots of different uh, ways to attach them. Uh, with these Canopus, what comes with them is strings. You can actually buy wide, wide, um, like a webbing type tape that you can use and put it through these holes, put it through that hole there. But in this case, it came with the strings. I'm not going to worry about putting tapes on it. Sometimes uh, snare wires come with like a, a strip of plastic too. They all work just as good as each other. But um, on this one, we're going to use these strings. So you want to put your string on like so. So in each hole with the string on top. So we're going to do that one end and we get the string and do it on the other end as well. And when you put those strings on too, just even them up so not, you know, both sides are about the same length coming out of the snare. Now we want to put it under the rim 
If you don't know that already, where the snare wire goes, you'll see a little hole in the rim, the slit here. So you stick it through that hole, not, not over the rim, of course. Um, I know most of you people probably know all of this already, but I, I thought I'd just cover all bases and, and you know make mention of that. Now, before I put these strings into the little grippy bits on the end, I'm going to loosen off my tension little button and the reason I'm doing that is I want to give myself plenty of of room on that strainer tightener for later because these strings are probably going to stretch a little bit and you know so you just want to give yourself heaps of room to be able to tighten up further and further if you wish to do so. So let's now first put these strings through. I don't know if you can see, well, if you pick up your snare drum, you will see that there's actually a couple little plates that these strings go through. And you may need to really open up these uh, adjusting screws so you really get a lot of I'll just bring this over so you can see there there's that gap where the strings go through so there's two schools of thought here when you put these strings through some people just put them through and tighten down tighten it down I like to get this through here I always like to uh, tighten it down uh, I put the string through then bring it back on itself and um, tighten it up that way but you know either way you do they both work absolutely fine so let's just get these roughly where they should be Okay, so what I'm wanting to do here is I'm going to tighten down the strainer so it's like in the tension position even though it's all loose and just get these snare strainer or the snare wires sitting fairly even across the head so it's not facing you know too much like this would be wrong. See how that is not sitting even it's it's more over here than over there so we want to try and get that as close as possible to even and the reason we want to do that um, it's just gonna the snares are gonna sit better it's gonna sound better it's probably going to be less rattle as well so anyway so we got it sitting roughly there let's now tighten these screws down Get them about hand tight for now so I can make a bit of more movement if I want to. So as you can see right now, I haven't done it right. It's more over this side than it is that side. So I need to just loosen it off a little bit again and just get them sitting so they're roughly the same. And make sure when you do pull them that way too, you don't twist the actual snare wires. Make sure they're sitting even and flush and no twisting in the snare wires whatsoever. So now we've got them sitting roughly about where we want them. So as you can see, that's roughly about the same. It's a little bit slightly that way to this side. But when I tighten this up a bit more, it's going to pull back a little bit anyway. So, so we basically are in business here. So what I want to do now is I want to tighten up where the strings go through 
so we don't get any slippage. Uh, don't over tighten your, your strainer screws here. Depending on the quality, you can just strip the thread and then you don't really need to do them so tight that you'll never have to move them ever again because um, they don't need to be that tight. And just make sure too, another point here, when you put the snare wire through, don't make them like both over to one side. Get them roughly about in alignment to the actual frame of the snare wire. Okay, so we've got all that tight now. And all we've got to do now is just uh, tighten up the snare to get it up to where we want it. Now you can see I'm tightening and tightening this. That's why I loosened it right off because I want to give myself plenty of room. So there we have it. It's that simple. I hope that made sense to you. So it's really easy. The old one, take it and loosen up the bolts here or loosen up the tensioners here. Pull the strings out, put the, the new one back in the same way. And, you know, before you uh, get it balanced, loosen this right off so you've got plenty of room to screw back up. Tighten them up and just start screwing it up and getting the tension the way you want it. It's that simple, people. So you will find when you put a new snare wire on as well, it's going to take a little while for it to uh, settle. So you're probably going to have to adjust it a little bit for a while. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, as they say. Anyway, on that note, people, if you have any questions or queries, please just drop a message below. And we'll see you on the next video. Um, so hopefully that will be soon. I think uh, I did a video the other day on miking snare drums and i mentioned then i was going to do a video on miking bass drums so that'll probably be my next video so if you're interested in that um, keep an eye out for that and we'll uh, we'll catch you then so on that note please subscribe please have a look at some of my videos go for a wander i want to get those hours up viewing hours so that would be appreciated if you do that on that note catch you next time bye so now I've got the snare wire on the drum. Um, I've just thrown it back on behind my drum kit. I'll play a little bit. Um, this is only being recorded on a phone, so an iPhone. So the sound quality won't be as good as what if I fully mic'd it up. But anyway, let's just have a listen to the snare drum now. <laughs> strand canopa snare vintage snare wire on this radio king replica made by lignum drums uh, from belgium uh, give it a day or two to settle in and it's going to sound just the way i wanted it to i'm actually going to probably next week i'm waiting for it to turn up i'm going to put a uh, goat skin head on the top of this to give it that real warm old vintage tone to it so when I get that head, I'll drop it on. I'll make a video and let you hear what it sounds like. And I might actually fully mic it up so you get to hear really what it sounds like. So on that note, thanks for watching again. Bye.